Hello everyone and welcome to a Garden Warfare 3 guide video, also known as Planter Zombies Battle for Neighborville. So today I will show you how to get past the little zombie club over there. And if you're watching this, you probably need help because you do not know how to get the cool swag for the lawnmower. And if we go in here, you can see that Major Sweetie is just basically not saying anything if you just like I did the first time, just skip through the dialogue, just keep pressing A and etc. But here's the thing, you don't want to do that because then you don't know that you need to do the side quests in order to actually get the swag. And in the side quest, you can't just do it by, oh, go here, then collect it. You actually have to do a boss fight. So for example, here, this is the first one I did. You go here to Corny Corn, and then you do the Varen Bob Bats thing. And as you can see, he's talking about that, and yeah. Okay, I'm going to replay it so I can show you guys. As you can see here, we've got this quest, and I'll just show some of it so I can show the rest of them, and I'll show you what to do. So, first off, in order to save lots and lots of time, instead of going the first way to the sewers, there is actually a secret little way you go in here. And then that starts the boss a little faster. Slightly faster. All this happens, you get a cutscene, Baron Bob Bats comes out, and then what you want to do is play somebody who has a lot of health, because he's pretty tough. I played as Pea Shooter, because i played since Garden Warfare 1, and now I'm a Garden Warfare Pea Shooter OG main. And you just want to, honestly, just keep it simple. Just keep shooting. That's not much I can say. But you do that, and eventually, you'll get to this area at the park where you're going to have to stop a concert, but first you have to do this little roadie thing where it's a payload and you have to stop the payload. And if you've gotten that far, then you're getting close, but I recommend not playing this pea shooter unless you're really experienced, because I had trouble. Oh, and now there's this curse part. And the curse will warp you first, and then you have to You'll slowly lose health, so it's got a vampiric thing to it. And you have to get all the way here and activate the bad zapper. Then that takes it off of you, and then you have to survive for a certain amount of time. And then you go to the rest of the stops, and this thing will keep happening on and off sometimes. So you just want to be careful and always look around and maybe just play through a couple times or the first time, and then you will see where these are so you know. Okay, now moving on to the next one. Okay, so one, you can activate the map and it will show you who you need to go to. So one, that's very important. And as you can see, I have this little thing up top which will show me how to get there. It's near here, having to take a detour. But it's very important to know where you're going, so that's why I recommend using the map. And also, this, it's a huge area, so you want to get around places really quickly. So you go to Tenderleaf, and then you just listen to what he's saying, and this is for the Treasure Yeti. So the Treasure Yeti has been in the game since Garden Warfare 1, and looks like you have to do multiple things, like the other one. So, you do this. Okay, also, sometimes you can just hear of treasure yetis sometimes. Like, it'll say a treasure yeti has appeared or disappeared or is near, and etc. But, yeah. Anyways, you do this, you get that. Not the coins, but you get the, what you need, which is very important so you can put it on the lawnmower. And then the next one is the sensei beard. Okay, so here for the last one, you will go to this chomper, Landfill, and you will get the cool goatee. And this comes from the Sensei, and it is right here in the downtown area, up down downtown. His name is Landfill, and you're relatively close to other places, so that is good. Very important. And yes, this is the end of the episode, and I hope this guide video helped you. I'll see you all in the next one. 
Don't forget to watch the other ones. Slider Gaming 1 does more than just gaming. Goodbye.